Hey guys, it's Gardner from Linode, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate. Today we're gonna review how to roll our own Counter-Strike Global Offensive server. Why would you want a CSGO server of your own? It's so that you can play with your friends and have complete control over the location, the size, and the latency of your experience. Plus you get complete control over who has access to your server. So let's review what we're gonna need for this. You'll obviously need a Linode account. You're going to need a Steam account in good standing. So that means you can't have a VAC ban or anything like that. You need to get a game server login token provided by Steam. And you have to have CSGO associated with your uh, library. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, if you enjoy these videos, these tutorials, if you think they're worthwhile, hit that like button, maybe hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is get a Steam game login token. This is actually done by going to uh, steamcommunity.com slash dev slash manage game servers and there'll be a link uh, in the documentation uh, to get there. Uh, you, This is where you're going to want to actually log in to your Steam account. And uh, if you have two-factor authentication, you should probably do something with that here. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do here is type in seven, three zero for counter-strike global offensive this is the app id of the game that you want to create a server for then the next thing you want to do is actually type in a memo to help you keep track of your steam games so we'll just type in uh, csgo server demo and we'll hit create okay so what we're going to need to do here is copy this and we'll need that for later now, it's really important that you understand you have to have a Steam account that has not received a community ban, it hasn't received a VAC ban, uh, and it must have a, a qualifying registered phone number associated with your Steam account. Um, you also have to have a copy of the game in your Steam library. Uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive is free to play right now, so you just have to make sure that it shows up in your Steam library. All right, let's go to the Linode Cloud dashboard. If you're not logged in, make sure you're logged in. Go over to the marketplace and select from the list Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO Latest. Once you've clicked that, these options should show up here. Now, you're gonna wanna take this number that you have, the login token, copy that, and paste it right here in the first field. This is required in order for the CSGO server to actually register itself with Steam's uh, server and for your clients to connect. So Archon password, you're gonna wanna give it a, a unique password that's secure. This is for remote console management of the game. So we'll just give it a, a nice secure password here. The rest of these are advanced options. Uh, you don't have to fill any of these out. The defaults should work, but we're gonna go over them here together. Uh, message of the day will show up whenever a client connects to your server. Uh, we'll say powered by Linode because that is actually really cool. The server list will show up in uh, client machines when you are searching for or going to be seeing servers on CSGO. Well, let's just give it a name. Um, Gardner's CS Go Demo Server. You don't have to give it a password. If you don't, anyone can connect to it, but you can set up your own password here. You can select whether you want teams to be balanced or not. You can set the round time limit. You can set the maximum number of rounds before the map changes. Uh, you can enable or disable by anywhere. Uh, and you can enable friendly fire or keep it disabled. Uh, these are all gonna be up to your taste and preference for Counter-Strike. So for region, we're gonna select Newark, New Jersey because I'm in the Northeast United States and uh, that's the one that's closest to me. The closest one to you is going to be the one that uh, delivers the least amount of lag. Now, this part is crucial. Linode's documentation uh, suggests that you use nothing less than a four gigabyte Linode in order to actually run your game server smoothly. Um, depending on the number of players that you anticipate having, up to 64, I believe, is the highest number you can have, uh, you might need something even higher than that. Uh, but four gigabytes is the minimum. So let's scroll down here. We can give it a name, uh, CSGO demo server. Why not? Let's just call it that. Give it a, a tag if you want to. We could say game server, create a game server tag. Now the root password is how you're going to log into your Linode over SSH. Uh, this is going to be for the root account on your Linode's Linux installation. So you wanna give this a nice secure password. From here, we're pretty much done, so we can hit create. 
The Linode documentation says provisioning your uh, Linode can actually take up to 15 minutes. Let it do its thing. You can actually log into your Linode's console by clicking launch console. Weblish might have this going on, but if you click on Glish, you can actually type in your uh, root username and password, and then type in top, and you should see Steam uh, Steam CMD right at the top there. Steam CMD is the command line interface for Steam. It is downloading the uh, CSGO server software, getting that all set up and ready to go for you. So once that has finished, it should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you should be good to go. Okay, so provisioning the server actually took more like a half an hour, uh, that's longer than I anticipated, but now it seems like it's ready. So let's go ahead and open up CSGO and see what happens. Now in here, you're gonna wanna hit the tilde key to open up the developer console. If the tilde key doesn't work for you, you're gonna have to go into your settings menu and enable developer console. Uh, you have to select yes there, uh, but we have it working. So now we can type in uh, connect, and then type in the IP address of our uh, server. And if we had a password, you'll wanna type in password and then whatever the password was, right? But I didn't put a password in, so let's go ahead and just hit enter. We are connecting to the server. All right, so we get to choose uh, whichever team we wanna play on. Just so you guys know, this is not uh, my typical gaming rig. My typical gaming rig's behind me. Uh, so this might have a few dropped frames and such. Uh, and the keyboard or the mouse input is actually really, really low. Let's, uh, let's increase that. There we go. That feels a little bit better. Bot Bill killed me. But I think that's a good sign. Um, where's the bomb? Oh, it's right here. Hold E to plant the bomb. Boom. Got him. Whoop. Yeah, so it's working. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm really happy with that. So thank you guys for watching. I think that's gonna do it for this video. So in this video, we reviewed how to actually get a CSGO server up and running on a Linode and how to connect your uh, CSGO client to your server. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate you guys being here, uh, checking out the Linode YouTube channel. If you like what we do here, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. Uh, or if it's more your speed, hit that like button. If you know someone who wants to roll their own CSGO server, why not send this video to them? But no matter what you do, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.